I want to talk about something that every home buyer in South Florida should know, special assessments. I'll explain what those are and what kinds of special assessments exist. My name is Arthur. I've been living and working in the Sunny Isles Beach area and running a real estate business for over 10 years. I want to share some information and tips here on my channel. Let's start with what special assessments are and what types of special assessments exist. Special assessments are imposed when there is something additional that has to be done either as a matter of urgency, such as ensuring structural integrity of the building or complying with the 50 or 40 year inspections. They are also used for updating the building itself, such as lobbies, elevators, hallways, amenities, etc. Some of these special assessments can be significant and lengthy, adding to a monthly bill for possibly decades. One of the decisive factors is past history and quality of management. Questions to ask are, how often did they impose special assessments? In what amounts? Was it planned or unexpected? Are there any planned improvements? Are any city inspections coming up? If the building has a special assessment or there is one coming up that is revealed during the due diligence period, either the seller has to pay it off at closing or the seller makes payments before closing and buyer takes over after closing. In some cases, the HOA may require full payment of the assessment when the property is sold, in which case it will come out of the buyer's pocket as additional closing costs. Florida Standard Contract has a special assessments clause. However, it's a common misconception that this clause deals with HOA assessments. The clause itself states that it applies to assessments by the public body and expressly excludes HOA. What deals with the HOA assessments for condos are condominium riders, in which the seller must disclose not only any levied special assessment, but also any pending assessments, which were either reported in the HOA minutes or were an item on the agenda in the last 12 months before the effective date of the contract. If the seller doesn't disclose any existing or pending assessments, the seller must pay those off in full at closing. If the seller does disclose them, then the parties agree whether the buyer will be taking over the remainder of the payments or if the seller will be paying them off at full in closing. If the HOA imposes special assessments after the day you entered into a purchase contract and that assessment was not pending, then the seller has to only make payments until closing and buyer takes over after. The options for dealing with that clause are pretty straightforward. The first and default option has the seller make payments due before closing and the buyer continue making payments after closing. The second option requires the seller to pay off the assessments in full at closing. If payment in full is not allowed, the buyer has to take over the installments. I've seen many agents misinterpret something, some seemingly simple terms, and it is even more common with unrepresented buyers. Working with a knowledgeable and experienced realtor will give you the peace of mind. I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave your comments or reach out to me. And also, please subscribe to my channel to continue to receive useful information and tips about the real estate market in South Florida. Thanks.